In complex analysis, the argument principle or Cauchy's argument principle relates the difference between the number of zeros and poles of a meromorphic function to a contour integral of the function's logarithmic derivative. Specifically, if f z is a meromorphic function inside and on some closed contour C, and f has no zeros or poles on C, then C f z f z d Z equals two pi i n minus p display style oint underscore c f z over f z d z equals two pi i n p, where n and p denote respectively the number of zeros and poles of f z inside the contour C, with each zero and pole counted as many times as its multiplicity and order, respectively, indicate. This statement of the theorem assumes that the contour C is simple, that is, without self-intersections, and that it is oriented counter-clockwise. More generally, suppose that f z is a meromorphic function on an open set ω in the complex plane and that C is a closed curve in ω which avoids all zeros and poles of f and is contractible to a point inside ω. For each point z element of ω, let n C z be the winding number of C around z. Then C f z f z d z equals 2 pi i a n c a minus b n c b Display style oint underscore c frac f z f z d z equals two pi i left sum underscore a n c a sum underscore b n c b right, where the first summation is over all zeros are of f counted with their multiplicities, and the second summation is over the poles b of f counted with their orders. Topic: Interpretation of the contour integral. The contour integral C F Z F Z D Z Display style oint underscore C frac F Z F Z D Z can be interpreted as two pi i times the winding number of the path F C around the origin, using the substitution W equals F Z C F Z F Z D Z equals F C one W D W display style oint underscore C frac F Z F Z D Z equals oint underscore F C frac one W D W that is, it is the total change in the argument of f z as z travels around c, explaining the name of the theorem. This follows from d d z log f z equals f z f z display style frac d d z log f z equals frac f z f z and the relation between arguments and logarithms. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Proof of the argument principle. Let zinc be a zero of f. We can write f z equals z minus zinc kilogram z, where k is the multiplicity of the zero, and thus g zinc does not equal zero. We get f z equals k z minus z n k minus 1 g z plus z minus z n k g z 
Display style F Z equals K Z Z underscore N carrot K one G Z plus Z Z underscore N carrot K G Z and F Z F Z equals K Z minus Z N plus G Z G Z display style F Z over F Z equals K over Z Z underscore N plus G Z over G Z since G zinc does not equal zero, it follows that G Z per gram Z has no singularities at zinc, and thus is analytic at zinc, which implies that the residue of F Z F Z at zinc is K. Let Z P be a pole of F. We can write F Z equals Z minus Z P minus M H Z, where M is the order of the pole, and H Z P does not equal zero. Then F Z equals minus M Z minus Z P minus M minus one H Z plus Z minus Z P minus M H Z Display style F Z equals M Z Z underscore P carrot M one H Z plus Z Z underscore P carrot M H Z and F Z F Z equals minus M Z minus Z P plus H Z H Z Display style F Z over F Z equals M over Z Z underscore P plus H Z over H Z Similarly as above. It follows that H Z H Z has no singularities at Z P since H Z P does not equal zero and thus it is analytic at Z P. We find that the residue of F Z F Z at Z P is minus M. Putting these together, each zero zinc of multiplicity K of F creates a simple pole for F Z F Z with the residue being K, and each pole Z P of order M of F creates a simple pole for F Z F Z with the residue being minus M. Here, by a simple pole we mean a pole of order 1. In addition, it can be shown that F Z F Z has no other poles and so no other residues. By the residue theorem we have that the integral about C is the product of 2 pi i and the sum of the residues. Together, the sum of the k s for each zero zinc is the number of zeros counting multiplicities of the zeros, and likewise for the poles, and so we have our result. <laughs> <laughs> Applications and consequences The argument principle can be used to efficiently locate zeros or poles of meromorphic functions on a computer. Even with rounding errors, the expression 1 2 pi i c f z f z d z Display style one over two pi i oint underscore c f z over f z d z will yield results close to an integer. By determining these integers for different contours c, one can obtain information about the location of the zeros and poles. Numerical tests of the Riemann hypothesis use this technique to get an upper bound for the number of zeros of Riemann's. She s display style she s function inside a rectangle intersecting the critical line. The proof of Ruchet's theorem uses the argument principle. Modern books on feedback control theory quite frequently use the argument principle to serve as the theoretical basis of the Nyquist stability criterion. A consequence of the more general formulation of the argument principle is that, under the same hypothesis, if g is an analytic function in omega, then 
1 2 pi i c g z f z f z d z equals a n c a g a minus b n c b g b Display style frac one two pi i oint underscore c g z frac f z f z d z equals sum underscore a n c a g a sum underscore b n c b g b. For example, if f is a polynomial having zeros z one, z p inside a simple contour C and g z equals z k, then one two pi i C Z K F Z F Z D Z equals Z one K plus Z two K plus plus Z P K Display style frac one two pi i oint underscore c z carrot k frac f z f z d z equals z underscore one carrot k plus z underscore two carrot k plus c d o t s plus z underscore p carrot k is power some symmetric polynomial of the roots of f. Another consequence is if we compute the complex integral c f z g Z G Z D Z display style oint underscore C F Z G Z over G Z D Z for an appropriate choice of G and F we have the Abel Planer formula N equals zero infinity F N minus zero Infinity F X D X equals F zero two plus I zero infinity F I T minus F minus I T E two Pi T minus one D T Display style sum underscore n equals zero carrot inf t f n int underscore zero carrot inf t f x dx equals f zero two plus i int underscore zero carrot inf t frac f it f it e carrot two pi t minus one d t which expresses the relationship between a discrete sum and its integral. Topic: <laughs> Generalized argument principle. There is an immediate generalization of the argument principle. Suppose that G is analytic in the region omega display style omega. Then C F Z F Z G Z D Z equals two Pi I A G A N C A minus B G B N C B Display style oint underscore C F Z over F Z G Z D Z equals two Pi I left sum underscore A G A N C A sum underscore B G B N C B right 
where the first summation is again over all zeros are of f counted with their multiplicities, and the second summation is again over the poles b of f counted with their orders. Topic: History. According to the book by Frank Smithies, Cauchy and the Creation of Complex Function Theory, Cambridge University Press, 1997, p. 177, Augustin Louis Cauchy presented a theorem similar to the above on the 27th of November 1831 during his self-imposed exile in Turin, then capital of the Kingdom of Piedmont Sardinia, away from France. However, according to this book, only zeros were mentioned, not poles. This theorem by Cauchy was only published many years later in 1874 in a handwritten form and so is quite difficult to read. Cauchy published a paper with a discussion on both zeros and poles in 1855, two years before his death. See also Logarithmic derivative Nyquist stability criterion <laughs>